this blanket will make it safer for your firefighters, without a doubt. It uh, suppresses it till we gives us time, and that's a big deal. It'll buy us time. People or a lot of departments are, are going with, let's just let it burn, especially like on the interstate. Well, that creates a lot of environmental problems. Yeah. You're going to have runoff. You're going to have firefighters walking around that car inhaling uh, some of those contaminants. It's just not, it's really not a good plan to let them burn out. And uh, once it starts, it can get up to 2,500 degrees, and it's very difficult to, to put out. And uh, we're going to use this blanket, and this blanket is not meant to put the fire out. It won't extinguish it, but it will suppress it and contain it until you, so you have time to get your water supply. And that's incredibly important, uh, like in parking garages, you know, you have car ferries on, on some of the uh, back east. Uh, areas and also large parking lots. Uh, well, what will ignite it in real life basically is flooding, believe it or not, especially uh, if you're near uh, salt water will cause these batteries to ignite during the thermal runaway. They do produce their own oxygen so they'll start burning. Uh, wrecks will do that. Overcharging will cause this. The problem with multi-use is they're going to degrade. They're not going to work as well the second or third time as they did the first time. Uh, you're not going to get all the contaminants off of it, and there's some major contaminants that come off of that battery that you don't want to be in contact with or inhale, that type of thing. So the, the fire departments that are, that are really looking into this and do their research, they're going with a single use. So like Chief Joe said, the single use, it's uh, covered with contaminants and it's best used once. Uh, we suggest that the blanket actually goes with the company that is going to be picking up the vehicle. And to keep that vehicle covered with the blanket, because there's always the possibility that the fire can reignite. Uh, it's not uncommon when you are dealing with uh, lithium ion batteries that it does uh, reignite at some point. They can reignite up to 30 days after That's you right. extinguish it the first time. That's why salvage yards don't really like these EV uh, vehicles at all. But if they have that blanket and then keep it wrapped up for that length of time, right. then the, they'll be okay. It's going to take a tremendous amount of water, probably up to around 10,000 gallons. So that, that's, that's a lot of water. That's why it, it does, you know, it's why it's contained and allows you to get your water source, which because you're not going to need as much water once you get that temperature down. When it contains it, it's going to reduce that temperature greatly from up to 2,500 degrees down to less than 500, probably two, 300 degrees. And right. so then it's a lot more manageable to. Using this blanket, you only need one department, and it's probably going to take you less than an hour to get that fire contained and put out so that vehicle can be hauled off. When these are deployed, uh, the blankets, it's imperative that these blankets are centered. If you don't get them centered on the car, you're not going to have enough overlap overhang to be able to tuck that blanket in underneath the car right and that's a, that's a very important or it won't work like it's supposed to so again that's a training issue you practice it had some wind out here today that probably caused a little bit of that but they also had never done it before like any real life situation you have to make some adjustments to make sure that it's on properly and that just comes with training So these blankets are designed to not only be used on EVs, but also hybrids and uh, gas as well. They can all be used for that. I learned something new. I, I didn't know. know you could use it on a gas vehicle. You can. This blanket will make it safer for your firefighters, without a doubt.